Welcome back to the Chrono Talk channel. In this video, I will talk about PVD and DLC. Stay tuned. So basically PVD and DLC are coatings and the difference is that PVD is the process and DLC is the material that is applied through that process. Those terms are usually confused because both are acronyms and the appearance is very similar. Usually when you think about a watch that have a PVD or a DLC, you usually think of something black or something gilted. And actually the PVD is a modern uh, process of applying, for example, a gold plating or a gold coating over the watch surfaces. It came to took place of the old electro deposition or galvanic plating that were basically the application of the gold through an electrolytic bath where the part to be plated was submerged into a bath containing the gold in form of a salt. And then by applying different electric chargers, you make the, the gold moving from the salt and depositing on the, on the surface of the case, for example. And you also have the even older process, which was the classic gilding. There was the, the process of applying mechanically or chemically applying a very thin film of gold on the surface of the case. This was very common until the 1950s and 60s. It consisted of applying uh, a thin layer of gold through pressing or hammering or even through a process called fire gilding that was uh, a mixture of mercury and gold because gold was soluble in mercury and you submerge the, the, the part to be to be gilded like the case on this solution and applying a very high temperature to it, making the mercury to evaporate and only the gold to stay in place. And this was capable of forming a layer about 20 to 80 micron, being 40 micron the usual thickness of this layer. The good thing is that it was even capable of a light polishing, but the downside is that it could eventually over time peeling off. So that's why it's not uncommon to see old gilded watches with the with the gold peeling off. While during the electroplating or galvanic plating, the surface had better adherence between the, the layer and the base material, but it was also thinner. So it was around something around three to 15 micron, which makes it not, uh, it couldn't withstand uh, even a light polishing. You could end it up removing the layer. And the biggest advantage of the PVD which means physical vapor deposition, and it means exactly what it looks like. It is the deposition of a material through vaporizing, is that it promotes the perfect adherence between the base material and the layer to the atomic level. That's why it's very hard to remove a PVD coating. But for this to be possible, it had to be applied in a very controlled environment. So basically the part to receive the coating have to be in a chamber that was submitted to an almost perfect vacuum. And then uh, the argon gas is inserted into the chamber and it, it makes like a, a chemical cleaning of all the surface. It heats up the surface where the coating will be applied. And it also uh, vaporize all the micro dirt or even oxidation that may still in the part. And then the material that will be applied to the surface is vaporized using plasma. The very high temperature of the plasma is capable of vaporizing even solids, even metals or minerals. And that's why uh, the PVD process looks like a painting. Actually, when you paint something, what you do is to dilute the paint into some kind of solvent and then you apply that paint into the surface, the solvent evaporates and only the paint solidifies over 
the surface. The, the PVD process is very similar. What you do actually, you vaporize even a solid and by the electric difference between the substrate and the coating, you make it to transfer into the substrate, which is the, the base material, like the case of the bra or the bracelet of the watch. And then this vaporized metal, like the gold, will adhere at an atomic level to that surface. And like on the electroplating, you can use uh, different layers and that can be built up one on top of the other to make it more scratch resistant or to promote a better adhesion between the materials or to change the color of the, of the coating. For example, for a gold coating, what you do, you start applying a layer of titanium nitride which is also it, it also have a, a, a guild appearance like for example the classic Seiko tuna that have that guild appearance it's actually titanium nitride coating and what you do on the PVD process to apply the gold you apply first a, a layer of titanium nitride that makes the surface very scratch resistance and then you apply a very thin layer of gold to make it shine and in the same way you can apply other materials to make it black or other colors. And so what is the DLC? DLC is also an acronym that means diamond-like carbon, which is a class of amorphous carbon, which means carbon that doesn't have a crystalline structure. And it have characteristics that are similar to diamond, which means in this case that it's very, very hard, it's very scratch resistant. And here comes the advantage over the classic PVD, because especially when you talk about the black PVD, if you scratch that surface, what you will see below is the is the base, the, the substrate, the base metal, usually stands stainless steel or titanium and you, you clearly see the scratch because it's very it's very clear it, it looks like silver in contrast with the black surface and that can happen with the PVD because the the hardness of the coating is the same as the material applied so the biggest advantage of the DLC is that you can apply coating that is as hard as diamond is not absolutely the same hardness as diamond but it's still a very hard uh, surface that can resist uh, most of the scratches. Of course, that it can be eventually scratched is exactly like the like the sapphire crystal, as I said in this video that will appear on the card here. That sapphire can be scratched. It's very uh, hard to scratch, but it's not scratch proof. It's the same thing with the DLC. It's not scratch proof. It can scratch eventually, but it's much, much harder to scratch compared to the conventional PVD. And that's what the DLC is, is a material that can be applied through the PVD process, but is extremely hard, extremely scratch resistant. And that's it. I hope you like it. Hope you learned something new from this video. In case you didn't subscribe yet, don't forget to click on the subscribe button here. Give me your thumbs up for this video as well and keep watching.